Hello there guys and welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining as ever. So it is transfers and rumours. It's Wednesday. Uh, so before we get talking about anything that we're going to talk about in this video, make sure you drop a like for us and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Also hit the notification bell so you're not missing out on any of the latest Tax TV uh, content. Now we didn't upload yesterday, uh, but obviously we're here today. We're going to be talking about uh, Pascal Cupcake. Uh, this is a striker we've been linked with for the last few days. Um, and it's looking more and more likely that uh, we are going to pursue a deal hopefully we're going to pursue a deal uh, for this uh, striker uh, plays in the uh, Bundesliga uh, for Eartha uh, BSC um, not had much of a look in there though dropped down the pecking order a little bit uh, scored plenty of goals in the in the second division the Bundesliga 2 Um uh, for uh, Esgerberg uh, and he moved to Eartha uh, B BSC in 2018 for a fee of about 1.8 million from what I've read uh, online uh, he scored over, uh, played over 71 games uh, in the uh, second division of the Bundesliga uh, with 20 goals uh, to his name uh, about 5 foot 9 so not the biggest striker uh, but um, it's not necessarily about that, you know, you look at, you don't have to be a big striker, you look at Winnots, the likes of Sam Winnow wasn't a big striker, Connor Chaplin's not a big striker, they've got goals. And from what you gather, get with him, you know, it's pretty much the work rate, running his bag out, works for the team, uh, provides provides not just goals, but assists, all this and that. Um, whether he's going to be up to scratch, because obviously he's not played a huge amount for Eartha, so that's going to be a bit of an issue with him not playing necessarily as much over the 2019-20 uh, season. But uh, we're obviously linked with him roughly about, uh, from what I've gathered, just under a million pounds uh, for him, which, you know, we keep saying we need to bring a striker in and um, obviously with him coming in from overseas, we'll judge him when he gets here. Um, but uh, still, still early days. But from from reports, what I've gathered in our in our group chat and everything, and on social media, a deal may be complete by the weekend. Uh, and as we keep saying, you know, we look at our strike force. You've got Woodrow. You know, he's still at the club. Good. Uh, whether anything happens there regarding him, we don't know. Um, you've got Chaplin. You've got Schmidt. So. I definitely think. I mean, even last season when we let Kiefer Moore go, we still needed that extra striker, and we didn't. We didn't manage it. Luckily, you know, we got away with it. But we need. We need that strike force to be able to build a, a decent partnership and get goals, and not not just get goals, but work the bag out for the team. And this is what apparently this guy can do. But he can't. He can also play right foot, right wing, left wing, as well as up front on his own. So that's always good. You know, we like his versatility at Barnsley Football Club. That's always a good thing. The versatility. Vers Versatility. Um, likes to play centre forward as well. Centre forward, maybe on his own, he can operate that as well. Uh, but obviously, we don't necessarily play with just uh, the one striker. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him. I, I, I really am. If it if it does come come about, obviously we get linked with quite a number of players during this this time. Every club does. Uh, but obviously, if if we can get a deal done, it'll be very very good, and hopefully bring a striker, another striker into the club that's going to help the team for next season. And that's that's ultimately what we need. Uh, so hopefully, we can get that deal done in the next few days. Um, like I said, we we signed um, Frazier last uh, last week and uh, Killian Ludwig on loan, and uh, and I was saying then you know we still were a couple of players we needed a couple of players and definitely a striker uh, because obviously it's still unclear about Woodrow we're still not hundred percent sure on Woodrow so we've got to uh, make sure that we get the right players in that can hopefully benefit the football side of things and uh, fingers crossed you know if this lad comes in. It, uh, it it's the ground running, but obviously playing in the Bundesliga in the second division of the Bundesliga is uh, you know it's it's not too bad going I suppose, but Earth are, uh, aren't a bad uh, aren't a bad uh, team in the Bundesliga. Let me tell you that you know I think they finished tenth uh, last season, which isn't a bad bad record. They the the some good teams in the Bundes first, first division of the Bundesliga. Um, but it is a shame he dropped down the pecking order there a little bit, didn't really hit the heights. He's 24 years of age as well, if I didn't mention that. So that's not a bad age for us. We, we like those type of players. Uh, but other than that, guys, you know, that's all we know on him so far. Um, I will try and let you know as soon as if anything comes about uh, regarding updates for him. Uh, but yeah, that's that's about it for him. Um, there was a few rumours escalating around Clark Adore. Uh, 
Uh, potentially Sheffield United will looking at him. I'm not sure how concrete that is, but I definitely don't think we should be selling to Sheffield United. Not not nothing against Sheffield United. I don't think we should be letting Clark Adore go, especially. And I forgot to mention it in Monday's video that Ben Williams looks like he's out for the season. Have he picked up a an in, a, a ligament injury against Crew? So Clark Adore for me definitely not. He's a wonderful, great player, and it's just a shame he dropped out a little bit after lockdown. But no, definitely not for me. You've got to keep Clarkador, um and you know not be selling to uh, to anybody really, especially now. Obviously, with Ben Williams being out, obviously I didn't think, I don't think Ben Williams would have been first choice anyway. But at the same time, you need that cover. Uh, so it definitely we will be struggling if we let Clarkador go as well. But I don't think there's anything too concrete in that, you know. Um, and I, I want to see a lot more of Clarkador next season. I hope that we can do. He deserves it. Uh, good player, good crosser of the ball. So hopefully we do see more of Clarkador. Uh, but other than that, guys, you know, regarding transfers, that's that's roughly it from what I know, from what I've gathered on social media. Obviously, if you see anything, let, let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of uh, Pascal potentially coming to the football club, hopefully by the weekend from what I've seen online. Um, and if that... Do, you know, it's it's all rumours and all everything like this. But this one's been going for the last few days now. So let's uh, let's see, let's see. Hopefully, this one's another done deal, like uh, the Fraser one, where that one we it were dragging on and on and on, and we almost knew in the back of his heads it were coming, but we just we couldn't do anything about it till it was announced. Uh, so yes, let's see. Let's hope something happens. Let's hope we get another player in, and hopefully it, it brings a lot of positivity and a lot of good form onto the football field uh, for next season because we need it we can't have another season like we did before so okay then guys i'm gonna crack on once again thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss out and if you are enjoying the content and give the video a like and hit the notification bell so you're aware of the latest activity on tax tv and we will see you very very soon thank you for watching you reds <laughs>